think about it and the whole point of me doing is this is to show that I really know nothing it's not too late for anyone and the first step that I have to take is what I'm about to do right now <laughs> today I am writing my goals for the rest of the year and in order to get there, like if I just look at the end goal, it seems really impossible because they're all things that I haven't really done before. Goals used to intimidate me a lot because I felt like I wouldn't be able to achieve them. But if I view them more as like steps, like one step, one foot after the other, you know, I'm not taking leaps, you know, break it down in a way that is understandable and digestible to, to you. So I do have three goals in mind. That's pretty cool. To achieve the goals that I've written at the top, they have to be mentioned here somewhere. And it sounds really like straightforward and common sense, but writing it out really helps me to understand that. I'm never gonna achieve these things if I don't incorporate it into my week, like now. Mm -hmm. So tell me about the daily goals. Um, the first thing that I do is meditate and stretch. I just basically empty my mind and then I'll visualize the way that I want my day to go. And when I open my eyes, I feel really present and I feel really like in control. So what's the, what's the purpose of the 10 push-ups? Is that to build strength? That is to build strength, but also it's a bit of a mental challenge for me because when I first started doing push-ups, I actually couldn't do a single full body push-up. I think as, uh, as an over 30 year old, <laughs> <laughs> we, should, we should add some core exercises. Did you hear the part where I said I'm just trying to do 10 push-ups a day? <laughs> it's going to be hard at the start, but then it's going to be easy. Why are you pushing me off the edge? <laughs> I just climbed back. I can build to it, definitely. But the th I think right now I don't want to scare myself off because yes, there is a camera rolling and um, you know this is all going on a vlog. Next week, I'll start increasing it. No? Have to do it now? Well, I'm not gonna push you, but why don't we just try some exercises now? You won't yeah. push me, but you'll make me do three times plus seven more. <laughs> okay. Let's go! <sighs> doom, 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 doom. Yeah, I, I see the appeal. Yeah, okay, do it. We'll do it! There's a lot more than I wrote down. <laughs> but, I mean, after doing it, I don't think it was as bad as I thought it would be. How do you feel? I feel good. I'm really glad that I um, did more than 10 push-ups. Yeah, I think I have to sweat, but it was, it's really... <laughs> I find it hard to push myself hard enough to sweat. That's just always been my struggle, so I'm glad you kicked me in the bum. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about the end of the year goals. I have three goals. They're quite big goals for me <laughs> because about a month ago, or even just like a couple weeks ago, I wouldn't have thought that I, I, I could do any of this. The skipping routine is something that I always wanted to do. Like I'd watch people like skip and they do this like dance, like shuffle thing. It just looks really cool and I want to be able to do it. So that's what I'm going to do. Tell me about the brand. Nia. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I did some research after deciding on the channel name, finding Nia, 
because I had my own reasons for calling it Nia. And then I searched the meaning of the name and it originates from uh, Swahili and it means purpose. <laughs> I just, God's plan. I want it to be more than just like a brand. I want it to be a community. If I could create a brand for a community to feel a sense of belonging and to remind them that we all have purpose, doesn't matter if we're different. Uh. That would be amazing. By the end of the year, I feel so shy to say like, I, I am going to, you know, but I should, I should. I am going, I'm going to release an album with 37 original songs. I'm writing songs like it's nothing. That's what I'm trying to do. I'm really taking away the fear and the pressure of writing the perfect song. If I want to like talk about why it's not good enough, they all sound the same. You know, you always use the same chord progressions. You, you know, your lyrics are all the same, that it makes sense. I can go on forever, but I'm just kind of um, taking a different approach. Whatever is like strongest on my heart is what I write about. Because that's something that I'm already present in and I don't have to kind of rack my brain to try and make words rhyme, you know, I, I'm just feeling it. So whatever I sing or whatever I write is okay because it's true to that moment. And I feel like that is what is allowing me to actually just go for it and just be like, yeah, it's okay. This is what I'm feeling right now. And no one can say otherwise. This is gonna be my first time writing songs and sharing it. 37 of them. 37 of them, some of them could be sounds. Spoken, awaken in the mess that I made in the silence. Now that I see, that was a ghost. Stop crying.